and welcome back to my channel. We are doing another unboxing for the Beacon Book Box. I'm excited because it has part two of four of the mugs. Where's my other one? I got this one. The Akatar. So, that was the first one. In this box, there's the second one. Oh, wow. Okay. Now my sister just got this box and she totally opened it up, so I I have no chill. I legit ha know exactly what's in here, but that's okay. Cause I didn't really like oops, oh, no. pay too much attention to what was in the box because I was eating dinner. But breaking the cycle was the theme. We'll leave that right there. So the first thing is, is the mug, because that's the most thing I was excited about, is the mug. So we're just going to open it up. My sister waited for the last minute. Did we open this up? I opened it first. You didn't notice. Oh. She doesn't want you to pay attention to me. I was eating dinner and feeding my so child. So was I. Feeding my child. You know how that is. Not hard. Anyway. Glare. There she is. Bring it down. There we go. Pretty. I think I would prefer a little bit more lightness because it is so dark. You can barely tell she has wings. But all the same, I love it as always. She'll go right there. Item dos is a pop socket. Now, I normally don't use pop sockets. I did at one point, but my case is the sleekest slate right now, and I don't want to ruin that. But, is it like a bird? Oh, there we go. It's a bird. <laughs> so that's pretty. My kid will like it. I'll put it on her phone. Let's see. Flame in the Mist inspired pop socket designed by Little Berries. So that's nice. It's a, it's a nice item to add into a box. Then of course we have number six of the ornaments. What did I say it was? I can't remember. Oh. Scythe. Scythe. Or scythe. Scythe. I've heard it both ways. No. It? No. Sarah, just show it. Okay, sorry. I try to do it in the room. I know, that but sometimes like putting it. something behind it makes it worse. There we go, Sarah. So it's nice. Find one somewhere. I think I have like three of them. I don't think I have all of them. Then this is Percy Jackson. T Dell. <laughs> if my life is going to mean anything. I have to live it myself. Lift it up. Thanks. So that's pretty. It's gonna go on my wall. I would say give it to Colby, it's kind of, but it's kind of girly. It is kind of girly, so I won't give it to my little brother. But if he wanted it, I guess. But not mine. You can ask. You can give him yours. Mm. <laughs> Since the only moment you got it was because of the, the mug. That's all she wanted was the mug. My book sleeve is different than my sister's. There was four different. You can put mine on Instagram. Pretty. Okay, I'll put my sister's on Instagram. So you have two of the four choices. Well, I mean, not like you're going to... You don't get a choice. You don't get a choice, but just two of the options that they had. So, nice little book sleeve. And then Seasons of the Storm by L. Cosimano? Mano? Sure. Together they are the storm. It's the spine. Pretty bad. This battle is not yet lost. In the midst of chaos, there is also opportunity. A perfect storm lies ahead. You can't let it destroy you, or you can take con you can let it destroy you, or you can take control of it. How the story ends is up to you. 
There's a little front thing and then letter from the author. And then just a plain old naked book. And I think, I think it's signed, right? Maybe not. Oh, yep, it is. It's fancy. Oh, oh no. I'm really excited. It sounds really good. Well, just from the back part. It sounds good. I like the cover. It's nice. I like the little golds and the blues. And kind of the silvery. Stay. Okay, so to the spoiler cards. You have the ex exclusive A Court of Thumbs and Roses enamel mug, collectible 2 of 4, designed by Diana the Warak. You have the Percy Jackson inspired tea towel, designed by Lit Life Co. The Flame in the Mist inspired pop socket, Little Berries. Um, they also, Little Berries also did the Scythe um, ornament. And then, of course, the book sleeve. Uh, and then I didn't get, maybe that's what it is. That is it. That's it. I was like, I didn't get it. The Percy's Dark Chocolate Cookie Bars. And then a little quote. A little quote on the back. Um, the artwork was from Katarina Book Designs. And then, of course, the signed copy of the book. It's by the author L. Cousin. No, no. Well, I don't really pronounce it. Sorry if I pronounced it wrong. So it's nice. You know, I think besides the mug, I think the tea towel wins it. I really like the tea towel. It's nice. It's pretty. You know? It's a pretty good box. I like it. Especially with you know July right around the corner, this will be really great to put stuff in. Sometimes I just put my switch in it and bring it to work. If I have time to play around with my switch. Anyway, so what were your guys' thoughts on this month's box? Um, like I said, tea towel would be my favorite. And then what was your guys' favorite, least favorite? Well, let me know down below. And like and comment and subscribe oh i'll get better at this so i am awkward um anyway so if you want to see more awkward content from me i do every day and then my random comments from my sister behind me behind the camera that's her fingers we can cut what, that out what are you gonna do i won't we'll see you guys next time bye